as 2023 comes to an end, I'm kind of thinking more and more about my goals and kind of my aspirations as, as we go into 2024, right? And I wanted to share some of those goals with you guys purely because when I hear other people's goals, it always gives me more motivation. It always kind of broadens my mind of what is possible in the world, right? If you hear someone talking about doing a million profit months and you're on 100K, you're gonna realize like, fuck, wait, there's so much more money out there, okay? So I wanna share my few, a few of my goals that I've achieved this year because this year has been fucking amazing. And then I want to like share and also think about as well some of the goals that I have in 2024 coming up, right? So this year, that's a fucking fly. This year has by far been the best year on record for us and for me and for my organization as well. I've learned more than absolutely ever. I've made more money than ever and it's been fucking wonderful, right? Made more fucking friends and partnerships and, and everything has been fucking wonderful. But there's obviously been a lot of things that I've missed out on, a lot of things that I can obviously improve on, right? So the number one thing that I'm really focusing on going into 2024 is just continuing to learn, right? And one thing that's kind of really, really helped me throughout the years and really, really improved my life just throughout kind of now four years in business is just always continually focusing on learning and continuing to focus on improving just everything, right? If I focus on improving myself, I focus on learning more. Naturally, I'm going to earn more money. Naturally, the organization is going to earn more money as well. So that's one big thing I'm focusing on. And then also I'm focusing heavily on kind of just making more fucking cash at the end of the day, right? The, the kind of premise of absolutely everything is just to fucking earn more money, right? And make more fucking cash. So that's one big thing that I'm focusing on. And there's so many things this year that I've kind of set up and got ready for next year and that are just kind of waiting right now for maybe a couple months. We're in the testing phase of a couple new projects, a couple new Shopify stores, including a new cool kind of clothing brand, which I'll be able to build publicly with you guys. And a lot of that stuff is just kind of, okay, it's there, it's waiting, it's ready, but it's not at scale just yet. Even such things I've spoken about on this channel before, like mylicorice.co.uk, um, that's a very simple brand, which is maybe doing, I think December, film this December 7th, 8th, I don't know, whenever. Um, I think that will do potentially 40 grand this month. We've had some stock issues, we've had some staffing issues with that brand. So it could have maybe done 50, 60, but um, it'll maybe do 40 this month. And um, the aim is to get that to a consistent 100K months by the end of Q1. And it's kind of the same thing with a lot of other brands as well. Like we have very specific goals because it's easy to make money right now. That's one thing I want. It's, it's kind of important for you guys to understand. If you're in e-commerce right now, if you have Etsy stores right now, it's very easy to make money because everything's going up. It's the same thing as bull market, bear market, right? It's very easy to make money when everyone else is making money and everything is going up, right? And as you get more towards into Q1 and to Q2 as well, Q2 especially because Q1 kind of has some holidays. We've got Valentine's Day, we've got Easter as well. But Q2 has fuck all. <laughs> so maybe it has Father's Day, Mother's Day, I don't know. But it basically has fuck all. Valentine's Day is very big. Easter is also going to be very, very big for a lot of our brands as well, for our food ones. So there's a lot of money to be made. And it's like, if we make money in Q1, we're going to make money in the rest of the year. So that's one big goal. It's just really focusing on scaling the brands in Q1. Right? Really, 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 really focusing. Scaling the brands in Q1 big focus of ours um, and just acquiring as many customers as possible and what we're going to do is this year for different brands we've had different things but this year for a lot of our brands we focused on just kind of reinvesting all the money back in 2024 is where we're going to be taking all the money back out and for some of our brands 2023 this year is when we've just been taking all the fucking money out next year we might be able to continue just taking fucking cash out or maybe we'll actually have to reinvest back into it and put more effort into it, right? But another big goal of mine is to kind of really share more like these kind of videos, right? On YouTube and really kind of tell the truth about e-commerce and tell the truth about business. Like it's not all fucking sunshine. It's not all happiness, right? It's not all just perfect shit that's happening to you. Um, I say that as I'm fucking walking on my beach, but there's a lot of stress. There's a lot of hard things, right? There's a lot of hard things, but it's kind of good that it's hard at the end of the day, because if it was easy to make a lot of money, 
then it would have no meaning and have no kind of challenge, it would have no chase. And once you get past a certain point, once you get past ten, twenty thousand dollars profit per month, the money doesn't become the driving factor. Maybe you start because of the money, but after a while, the money doesn't become the driving factor because it's just not that hard to obtain. Like it's genuinely not that hard to obtain. So one thing I'm really focusing on next year is building out the organization. One of our biggest mistakes was employees. We haven't hired enough. We haven't hired enough. We haven't hired fast enough. We haven't fired fast enough. Um, and then just really expanding on that and just really just building out the organization to make more money, right? I also really want to, obviously, as I said, share more in here, share more about the kind of reality of everything as well. I also want to help more people and I want to get thousand people to quit their nine to fives. I need to count how many people have DM me like I quit my nine to five because of you, thank you. But it's a good amount so far, but I want a I want thousand people minimum have quit their nine to fives, gone full time, whether that's Etsy or whether that's something different, but I want to enable a thousand people to do that. I think that'd be really fucking cool. So there's a lot of goals for next year, but obviously it's main goal, make more cash, right? I want to be able to do consistent million months is what I want to be able to do. Consistent million profit months, not fucking revenue, baby fucking revenue, where you're doing like 300K profit, 250K profit, nah, fuck that bullshit. I want to do consistent 1 million months. That's the biggest goal for me. Like, the, the one thing that I really focus on as well is, for me, I don't give a fuck about 10K profit a month. I, I don't care about 20K profit a month. I don't care about all that bullshit. I don't care about these kind of small numbers. For me, with the goals that I have long term, I want to hit those big months. So I will reinvest every single penny back in. I will do whatever it takes to get to the next stage and get to real numbers. Because once you get past 10K a month, you're kind of above everyone that's kind of average, right? You're above all the people that are average in the UK or in the US or wherever, right? Because average wages are very, very low. But once you get past 10K a month, you're an incredibly poor, rich person. Right? Out of the people that are rich, quote unquote, you're poor because 10 grand a month, you can't fly first class. First class tickets are going to be like, what, four, five, six grand to kind of anywhere. So you can't fly first class. So you're nowhere near rich. You can't really buy cars willy nilly and buy whatever the fuck. It's going to take you two years to three years to save up for a supercar. You can't buy houses. You can't do anything really. So you need an obscene amount of money to actually just be able to do whatever the fuck you want like fuck you money so that's what i'm going for i basically ever since i was making three grand a month for my businesses i've reinvested every single reinvested every single penny back in obviously i do spend a decent amount on living expenses every month but it's still small in proportion to what i earn maybe each month i mean i spent probably yeah i probably spent a thousand dollars last night but i've maybe spent like including rent and all that kind of stuff i spent about twenty thousand dollars a month which is not really that much. So, but 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 in my mind, it's not that much because I don't care about the $20,000 a month that I'm spending on living expenses because I just want to get to the next level, to the next level, to the next level. And I want to do million months, right? And I think that's a very good way to look at it. Maybe maybe your goals are 10K a month. Maybe you want to, want to, earn, you want to earn 10K a month for the rest of your life. But um, for me personally, I want to get to million months. And then when I'm at million months, I want to do fucking two, three, four, five. I want to go big. I don't want to be stuck at 10k a month at 20k a month because it's not really that much money like when you really deep it it's not really that much money okay um so that's a big big goal of mine i want to just scale massively and i think that comes from just hiring more employees outsourcing more tasks i'm a bit of a control freak and i've made a lot of mistakes with that in the past so that's kind of a big thing to you guys as well is like if you're making good money now let's say you're making 5k a month in your business and your etsy store and your shopify sites outsource just give people stuff because you don't i'm not saying give it to necessarily like hire someone for 5k a month if you're making 5k a month i'm just saying if you are doing customer service you need to give someone that because it's three dollars an hour like how much are you getting paid per hour and how much can you pay someone per hour to do that role right you just need to get rid of everything that's not a high roi task very very simple it's like me i equate my time to like five 
I should really do 10, but like $5,000 an hour, right? Let's say my time's worth $5,000 an hour. Like I will never do customer service emails. I will never package an order. I will never do these specific things because they're like 10 pound an hour tasks, if that. So always give your tasks away, delegate. If you get amazing at delegation, that is how you actually get to the next level. Because if you're earning 10, 20K a month, you're doing the majority of the stuff yourself, you just you just have a high high paying job. You have a high paying job. There's nothing wrong with that, but you'll never be able to get to the next level. Someone that's a good CEO and someone that's a good businessman is the person that is good at giving away stuff and good at delegating and hiring the right people in the right times, firing the right people at the right time, and understanding that that is the most important thing of business, hiring other people. Because I'm great at Facebook ads, I'm great at email marketing, I'm great at finding products, I'm great at listing products, I'm great at doing so many different things. But I can hire a media buyer to do my Facebook ads for me and he'll do it way better than me. And per hour, he won't charge anywhere near what I charge per hour, basically. So being a great, biz being a great businessman and being a great boss all just comes down to actually pushing forward and hiring staff members and knowing how to hire staff members and really focusing on that. If you focus on that, you will always win. But yeah, there's my goals. If you like this kind of video, again, it's the second one I'm doing these, these type of things. Obviously we're talking about goals and how I wanna push higher and push higher and push higher and kind of giving you some, you guys some advice about that. Um, obviously subscribe if you like this kind of shit. Um, comment down below if you like this style of video or if you have any ideas of things that I should talk about next. So yeah. See you next time.